I'm Tim Malloy for the Civic Association. Chesterfield Hotel catches fire today, a very hot fire on a very hot day. He takes up to 100 degrees. There were occupants in the hotel. Quick response by Palm Beach uh, Fire Rescue, as well as an assist from West Palm Beach Fire Rescue. Let's let Chief Donato pick up the story from there. And so they got a call here for the Chesterfield Hotel for uh, smoke down in the ground floor restaurant area. Uh, units got here and they found a lot of smoke in the lower lower level at the first floor, uh, but they couldn't find any cause, any heat, any fire. Uh, they began to open up some walls, found a lot of smoke on the walls, uh, traced that smoke back up, and they found fire in the parapet wall on the roof itself. And so they've opened that up pretty good and they've got that fire out. So now our concern is we have to make sure the fire hasn't traveled anywhere else. And you know, how did that smoke get down to the first floor? Did something drop down? And so they're just kind of opening up walls and ceiling spaces, looking to make sure that the fire didn't spread anywhere. But we believe it's contained at this time. Uh, but until we open everything up, we were, we're not gonna know for sure. So what's the source? That's always the trouble with something like this. It takes a while. So they're investigating up in the rafters to try to figure out what happened here. No lightning as opposed to yesterday. Uh, you know, look, until we get in there, we don't yeah. know. Uh, you know, the most likely cause of most fires and void spaces is electrical. Yeah. But, you know, we'll have to investigate that once we get to that point. Is anybody living there now? Uh, so the Chesterfield does have guests yeah. in it. Uh, most of the guests, fortunately, are out. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. People are out enjoying the day, enjoying the island. Uh, so most of the guests are out. The other guests have been evacuated. They're back at the pool area being yeah. taken care of with refreshments and uh, and the management's tending to them back there. And you threw everybody you have at this probably. Yeah, yeah. All, our, all of our crews are here, plus we have West Palm here to help us. Okay. No one hurt, thankfully. A lot of very hot firefighters trying to cool off after this on a very hot day. It's an old hotel, almost 100 years old. Would have been a terrible loss, but they made a good stop with a great assist from West Palm Beach Fire Rescue. So that's it from here. I'm Tim Malloy for the Civic Association on what became a busy Saturday.